Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to do some planning and I don't know about you guys but I don't really have time to be planning and decorating my planners like every day or once a week. So what I typically do is I plan an entire month's worth um, in, in a day basically. So today I want to show you guys how I do that and we're going to be focusing on the month of August. So I first focus on the, the monthly view and I decorate it as I wish and I usually just take out my materials and choose pretty, I don't know, paper or um, what's it called, washi tape and get inspired from that. And so I usually measure it and I cut on the sidebars so I use double tape to make sure that it sticks to that. And that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing. So after that, um, I do want to decorate it with some washi tape and I recently just bought some from my Happy Planner or website, yeah. And they have really cute washi tape and that's basically what I'm mainly going to be using in this video for the entire month. Um, I'm using the new washi tape that I got because I was really excited for it. So um, yeah. I usually just use anything to like cut the washi tape. Um, you can use scissors if you want, but uh, I usually use like a card or even this little thing with my sticky notes on. So I'm also going to add some washi tape on the bottom and this one kind of went with the scratch paper that I used on the sidebar. And I also had some stickers left over from, I don't even know where I got these stickers from, but I thought they were really cute and they had the same color theme going on. And so I just decided to use them. Next, I'm going to be adding my, I don't know, my basically what I put on my monthly view every single month. So that includes church service, bills, and um, I also include any doctor's appointments or any other important appointments. Um, and everything's color-coded. Church is always blue, so that's why you see me using blue right now. But, um... Yeah, everything's color coded just so I can be more organized and I know what's going on. So this is basically what it looks like after I fill everything up. Everything's color coded as you can see, the bills and everything. Um, it just looks a lot more neater for me and my weirdness. So next, for the first week, I decided to use pink and florals and a little bit of gold. So this is basically what I'm going to use for this week. Again, I'm going to measure the sidebar and I just kind of eyeball it. I don't actually like measure everything. I kind of just trace it and it if it fits, it fits. And um, usually it's not perfect, but it's okay. I don't mind. Again, I use double tape to secure the scratch paper on that side. And then I just kind of place it on top of it. This time I didn't go all the way up. I wanted to the what's it called the washi tape I don't know why I keep forgetting that the washi tape on that top corner and I know I'm putting it on the side but I end up just putting it on the top corner and then I just add a sticker on top of that so now I'm just gonna add this little washi tape or this thinner washi tape on the horizontal way just to make it look cute and it's also very light pink and I'm gonna do that to both pages I'm also going to put some more washi tape on the sides and then afterwards once I'm done I am going to go over them and cut them just so it, I can insert them back to my planner. Um, after I did that it actually, I didn't have a hole puncher of the size that it's supposed to be. So it was a little bit rougher to like turn the pages but after a few tries it kind of like loosens it up, loosens it up. So, um, it wasn't as bad, but I mean, if you have a hole puncher and you can hole punch those holes better, then that, that would help. I'm also going to be adding some stickers, like, on the headers. Um, my top section is always going to be my to-do from Monday through Friday. And then the weekend, is just says, hello weekend, and I'm going to just keep it like that. I don't actually have a to-do list. On Mondays and Tuesdays, um, my middle section is always going to be YouTube. That's when I typically try to do my editing or recording or anything that has to do with YouTube or posting on Mondays and Tuesdays. So that's why it's there. And then Fridays, I want it to be more of me time. Just there to remind me like 
to relax and have for myself. I also added uh, a little things on the bottom. That's only Monday through Thursday. So again, the same process kind of repeats throughout every single week. Um, as you can see here, I add a scratch book, um, paper, I add the washi tape on the sides and on the bottom. That's kind of my routine that I have going on so far. So, and then I add a sticker on the corner, very um, inspirational ones. And I did get a sticker book of faith um, based sticker book from my happy planner so I really love those stickers and it kind of helps me because when I open my weekly planner I kind of just read it and it just reminds me and it gives me a boost so I really like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate the rest of the spots um, I usually try to decorate on Saturday and Sunday just because I don't really have much planned on those days the next week as you can see it starts to look like this um, I'll show you in a bit, but they all pretty much start looking the same setup. I have the sticker quotes on the weekends and on the sidebar. I have my um, my get it done or chores list. And this is the stickers that I was talking to you guys about. Um, I got the mom's one and then the faith based one. And I really like those both. I just go through them and see what I can use to put them on there. And I think they're really good, so you guys should go and check those out. So my camera actually died, so I couldn't show you the process of this week. But the same layout, the same process, it's kind of the same thing. The to-dos, the YouTube, the little things, and then I add the stickers. So the next week I'm also gonna, I think this is the last week, and same process, I'm gonna cut the scratch book paper, put it on the sidebars, and add washi tape, the stickers, the to-do, YouTube, and little things, um, sticker headings, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. So this is an overview of what my monthly planner looks like. Um, I have everything else in black. Um, any other dates that are work related, I usually use just use black pen. So it's also my husband's birthday this month, so I have that cute little balloons there. So this is the first week how it ends up looking. I usually leave them all blank unless I know something for um, certain that's going to be done that day. I just fill it up as the week goes by or as I start my week and I have my little prayer list here on the corner my bills um, my Bible verse that I'm my Bible study that I have for the week and then a cute little quote for the weekend and that's basically the same layout for all of them as you will see right now on the next week so as you can see the next week it has a similar setup it has my chores on the sides my prayer list um, it has a little sticker quote on top my to-do list on top um, my hello weekend banner um, a, an inspirational quote on um, my YouTube section I pay the bills on um, my me time and usually I do my Bible study on my me time in that section I'm actually putting some um, seminars that I'm taking so I'm gonna list them there for the entire week um, I'll show you guys that later on what I mean the following week um, as I had kind of showed you already I have a cute quote um, my prayer list is on this side this time I have my get it done list um, which is basically my chores my little things my Bible study my pay the bill reminder and my weekend banner all pretty much the same setup just different theme colors and stuff like that so this is the final week and this week's also um it's very pink I don't know 
it just turned out like that it has my chore section on the side um my prayer list is on that side as well and yeah this is pretty much what it looks like empty without any writing on it yet um once i start writing it which i well right now um I'm, I'm gonna add what i have planned for youtube and the um seminars that i'm planning to take and my bills i'll add that all right now so you guys can see how that looks like so decorating this entire month including the monthly view and like every week is easier for me just because i, I pretty much spend like i don't know two hours just decorating my planner and while watching a show of course I'm not just like sitting there <laughs> but I usually just do this once a month and then that way I don't have to like spend more time on every day or once a week or whatever it just works out better for me and I have the same routine so once I have one done it kind of just flows with the rest of them so this is basically what it's gonna look like once I have some stuff written down as I said um, I don't usually fill up the entire thing because I don't really know what I'm doing each week I go by week after that but it's not as much work to do as if I've had to plan the entire one entire week so I have the chores that are there my prayer list um, my church stuff and my Bible study my seminars that I need to take for that week are listed there and then I just kind of list them on top as well one by one because I take one seminar each day and then REP just stands for record edit and post so that's what it looks like and that's kind of how it's gonna it's gonna look like for the rest of the weeks um I also added my bills um I just write how much and then my bible study as well and that's pretty much the same setup that I added to all of them except um, in some of them I did add my appointments on my to-do list. That's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful or you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!